Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Better Goods ice creams. These are by Walmart. So these were only $3.44 each at Walmart. Uh, for how much do you get? Uh, let's see, uh, 16 ounces, a full pint. So you get a full pint of ice cream for $3.44. Uh, this is the double vanilla. This is ultimate chocolate. Uh, pistachio salted caramel. And this is the double or the cold brew coffee. All right, they are going to have other flavors. They are, but these are the only flavors that we can find so far in our area. So we're yeah, gonna- Yeah, like one store will get like one flavor, another store will get like two flavors. Yeah. And you just kinda gotta, gotta search around right now. Yes, yeah, you just, yeah, you, you might get lucky and just find one. We did do reviews of the whole plant-based mm -hmm. line. We found those. Uh, those are in green containers. They look, they're the same size, but they're green. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the, this looks like a vanilla bean. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Okay, uh, when it was, hmm? So, uh, yeah, a premium ice cream double vanilla made with Tahitian and Madagascan vanilla. It's three servings, two thirds cup, 118 grams, is 270 calories, or you can eat the entire pint for 810 calories. Not much to see, honestly. There's little <laughs> flecks of uh, black. If you stay tuned to the very end of the video, I always post pictures of the ice cream, and I also post pictures of the um, in, uh, the nutritional information the and, the, and the ingredients uh, mm -hmm. on the container. Well, I get asked all the time, um, frequently, not all the time, frequently, um, some people will say, uh, you, you mentioned the calories, but you never mentioned the sugar. Well, it's at the end of the video. Just get ready to pause and you'll see all that information at the end of the video. Every video. Yeah. If it's available. Yeah, if I can get it, I get it. It's nice to know. I got it kind of thick, almost like a custard. It is. Mm -hmm. A lot That's of people awesome. look to you for the vanilla mm -hmm. because the vanilla. they know that you're kind of a snob when it comes I am not to vanilla. A snob. <laughs> well, you did not care for the plant based vanilla. Yeah, it had a weird flavor to it. But I think it was because, remember I said it, it was, I think, because of some of the whatever it was, oat milk. I don't remember at this point. I think yeah. it was oat milk. Oat I, think, milk. I think some of that flavor was coming through. That's why I didn't like it as much. This is just creamy vanilla. It's not that really strong, funky vanilla either. It's a really, just a really nice vanilla flavor. Yes, and it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm. So this would like, of course, you can eat it by itself like we are, but it would be really nice um, next to a warm chocolate chip cookie oh, yeah. or a Apple warm... Pie. Um, I'm thinking of a chocolate brownie. Yeah. Um, it would go great chocolate with sauce on top of it. Yeah, whatever. any of that. Yeah, it's it's delicious. the quick and dirty chocolate sauce, which is Nestle quick and a little bit of water. Y yes, we love that, and the kids love that. Yeah. Andrew it's actually gritty, sugary. Uh huh. How can you go wrong? <laughs> and our kids always love that. So truly, I like that enough where I would just eat that by itself. Uh, yeah, it too. I wouldn't. Eat, I wouldn't yeah. put anything with that because that's just really nice. Pure vanilla flavor. It's really good. This is uh, ultimate chocolate, rich, indulgent, classic chocolate ice cream. Two eighty for a serving, eight forty for the entire container. Yellow is weird to see chocolate in a yellow container. In a yellow container, because you would expect this to have been the chocolate. But then again, that's coffee, so that would have been a, maybe a lighter brown. I right. Don't know. Right. It's yeah. It's just different. This looks. It smells good. Dark. It smells good though, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, it does. you can really smell the the chocolate in there. Again, there's not much, there's not to, much say, to say yeah. It's a brown. <laughs> <laughs> I think my dad owned a suit this kind of brown when I was a kid. Ah, uh, the 70s. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yeah. That's that's I think he wore it with a green, like a lime green. No lime green. What's the light green? Just like a really light, light green, like a mint green. Mm -hmm. A mint green shirt with like back collar wing collar. And that's dark brown. Uh, my dad had a couple of those shirts. Pretty, pretty sure he wore that to with church. With those well. long, the long and pointed. Oh yeah, the big bat wings. And ugly shoes. Shoes with men with the shoes uh, with a heel that high. Yeah, his heel wasn't that high, but they were ankle boots. 
Oh, I hate ankle boots. <laughs> hate ankle boots. They're always wear ankle boots. I do not like ankle boots. Ankle boots and El Camino. No, it should never have happened. <laughs> That's a nice chocolate. It's not um, it's not bitter. Mm -mm. Uh, but, but it's a nice rich chocolate. It's a really good chocolate. Actually, I really like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's rich and delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a, a chocolate ice cream lover, but that's but really that good. But that is sweet. Mm -hmm. it, it's very it's it's very sweet. I'm impressed with how um, creamy this is too. It's very mm -hmm. rich, very creamy. Like I said, it almost reminds you of a, of the thickness of a custard almost. Mm -hmm. But it is melting really, really nicely. So like Cammy likes to do, go around the edge to get the melty parts. That's what I would do too. Yes, it's it. That's what. Although it usually do. doesn't last long enough to get too melty. Truly, <laughs> normally I would pick the vanilla over the chocolate. I'm picking the chocolate over the vanilla. The, van the chocolate. I like the chocolate really, more than the vanilla. I think they're both equally good. Okay, this will be different because instead of just doing salted caramel, they did pistachio salted caramel. It could go either way. It says with pistachio pieces and a rich salted caramel swirl. 280 for the serving or 830 for the container. But tell you what, for 344, I'm really impressed with the quality of these. Look at that. Wow, that's a rich, thick chocolate. I mean, a caramel swirl. Aren't you impressed it's a with the thick? With the, it's thick. the quality of this ice cream? Yes. Now, we haven't got anything with mix in. So, this is the first one that really has what I'd call mix in. Yes. Um, of these regular I'll ones. Show you this yeah. One close. This one. This one's worth getting up close for. It's kind of a, the ice cream's kind of the same color as that shirt I was talking about. Uh, it is, is it, it is a green color. <laughs> it does have a green tint to it. The caramel looks runny. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is the pistachio yes, that tastes want. like almond. Yeah, this is the pistachio that I actually will eat. This, this tastes like almond. Mm -hmm. Which tastes like cherry. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's that's nice. I love the amount of caramel. Look at that. Everybody, every, wherever you go in, there's mm -hmm. tons of caramel swirl in there. I like the caramel too. It's it's uh, does have a little bit of saltiness to it. I think these are cheaper mm -hmm. than yeah. the um, those Stranger Things we had. Mm -hmm. Are these cheaper than the little Debbie? Or no, I think the little Debbie were cheaper. I think the little Debbie's only like two fifty or that's something. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. In our area, I think the little Debbie is cheaper. At least at Walmart. Now Kroger sells them too, and I, I don't know if they're more expensive or not. I don't, mm. I don't know. I've never looked at the price. They're at Kroger. Yeah. Um. Somebody else sells them too. But I don't remember who. I oh, love I those. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love that. Um, I love those pistachios is what mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Um, you do get pieces of pistachio all throughout the Everybody. whole thing. It does have a um, that almond slash cherry type flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it does not have a green earthy pistachio flavor. That's the kind of pistachio I do not like. Right. This is not like This that. is not like that. And honestly, until you try it, you're not going to know what kind of pistachio something's going to have. So, like, if you're I'm always willing to try it. Yeah, Kevin's willing to try it because he's willing to see. Is this the kind I'm going to like or is it not? That is delicious. It's very, very good. And um, um, the pistachios in there, they're not crunchy, but um, you've said before pistachios are kind of a softer I think they're a softer texture right. anyway. Which yeah. I, I literally do not eat them if I don't have to. Yeah, I think, uh, they're, <laughs> I think they're softer. Yeah, it's about the same texture as like a peanut would be in ice cream. So, yes, in ice cream, yeah. yes. Like a peanut in ice cream is usually a little bit softer, softer. than it is outside of It's like cream. that, yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay, so this is the cold brew coffee made with Colombian coffee. 270 for a serving, eight. Ten for the container, and this is just like a, a khaki, coffee color. Huh? Coffee color. Co coffee color. Yeah, like creamer a creamer, color. creamer coffee. Yeah, yes. I'm surprised that that's not the color of the container. That's what I was expecting the container to be. I think they should have put the coffee in the yellow and the chocolate in mm. the brown. It smells good. That's just, yeah, it smells like coffee. It literally smells like a coffee. Yes, coffee. yes, it smells like they took a pot of coffee and put <laughs> creamer in it and put it in the freezer. Yeah. Now we do like um, creamer in our coffee. They forgot the creamer. Wow. 
That is some strong coffee. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> if you eat that, your hair in your chest. <laughs> I can feel the hair growing now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, my dad's uh, boss used to say every time I go to the office. Drink that coffee, and I'll put hair on your chest. <laughs> it didn't work very well. It didn't work. <laughs> A little bit. Um, it, it, it tastes like uncreamered sweetened coffee, like a black coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't personally like it because it's too strong, which is weird because I like... It tastes like hospital coffee. She means the, co the, co the coffee pot that's been sitting there. Like one person made a pot of coffee in the morning and then they got their cup and left and left the cup, coffee just sitting there and it's percolated. Yeah. And it's just it's almost bark. Or, yeah. It tastes a little bark, like scalded, like the Mr. Mm -hmm. Coffee coffee pot gets that scald in the bottom when there's yeah. only that much left in yeah, there. You don't clean it at the hospital. You just rinse it out and make another pot. Yeah, that's what that tastes like. But <laughs> I like it. I, I, I like it's it. It's a little too strong and bitter for me. I, but I, I think, think they did a good job. I think if you it. like black coffee, you'll love that. Because they I did a good really job yes. on it. Yes, and, and it's not too sweet. It really does taste like no. a, a scalded coffee. Yeah, and like I said, they didn't do a bad job. It's, it's a personal preference on my part. It's why I'm saying I don't like it. They, right. I think they did an excellent job on it. Okay, we're gonna so have now you gotta, we're gonna have a difference of opinion. Figure out which one you want. Okay. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I already know. I'm gonna surprise you and say probably the pistachio one. Pistachio is my number one too <laughs> because it was completely unexpected and it does not taste like traditional pistachio. Yeah, so. it has it has a. I love cherries though. Yes. So and with it, it having a cherry-like flavor, yeah, that's cherry flavor. Yeah. That's what it is. My number two would just be the vanilla. Okay. And then it would be chocolate, and then I, I personally wouldn't get the coffee, but okay. I'm going a completely different direction. I'm going pistachio one, coffee two, chocolate three, <laughs> and vanilla four. Yeah. And yeah. there's an, honestly not one thing wrong with no. any of them. Literally. I think they're all worth. They've done a really good job. Yeah, they, they, they really did. They're very good quality. And I, I think it's, uh, you know, this is a nice size that's, it's, I would rather buy something this size than have the big container. I think the big container is great if you have kids. Yeah, uh, of course. Scoop it. But if it's just two of you or just one of you is going to be eating on it or something like that, then I think this is a great size to have. Yeah, and, and you can't beat the price. No, so the problem right now is just going to be finding it in your area. Um, we'll get it. Just give it time. Yeah, it's just we'll not coming it. out. And like I said, yes, there are definitely going to be more. We'll try them when we can find them. Mm -hmm. And we might have to, we might have to uh, buy one one week and hold it up for weeks and weeks until we can get all the flavors. Because mm -hmm. I think there's like three more. Yeah. See, like it that. seems Two or three. like it, I know there's a strawberry. Um, I don't remember. Gosh, I think one's a chocolate cherry. One was what some. Was I think it was chocolate cherry. I, I don't remember. And then um, dulce de, dulce delicious caramel. Caramel. <laughs> well, yeah. So so those are three. I know it's different, but I just say caramel. That I saw the I saw those Little tags, tags yeah. in a Walmart, and those are the tags that I saw. So those are the three others that I know for sure to be expected. Yeah, so uh, as soon as we find them, you can be assured we yeah, will try them. Because I'm quite impressed with them. Yes. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.